The music industry produces amazing musicians. And in two or three years, the system will swallow them and then you can't hear of them again. And musicians will have a 50 year career and then they still die poor. These things kept working on, on the walls of my mind. So I, I used to ask myself, am I going to also die poor? Because I've had an amazing career. How can I understand this phenomenon? Let me go to school so that I can, I can also own the tools that I can use to research and be able to analyze my surroundings. I did a first degree in Akan at KNUSD. I felt inadequate. You know, so I told myself that before I hit 40, I will start my second degree. So last year, I enrolled at the business school to have my second degree in marketing strategy. And now I'm done. My name is uh, Dr. Aminu Sanda of the Department of Organization Human Resource Management, University of Ghana Business School. And I also happen to be a lecturer of Ochiami Kwame. Of course, the Ochiami Kwame you all know as a music artist. And of course, the course that I taught him is Human Resource Management. That is how to be able to manage the employees that you have in your organization for effective and efficient performance. So for me as a teacher, and also of course as a practice man, I found it quite interesting to have somebody like Ochiami Kwani coming back to the classroom. Because if you take people like him within their industry, they are people who are known almost to everybody as a result of what they do. Of course, coming from the creative industry. And as you all know, most of them, as a result of the popularity they have, they will be labeled as celebrities. And the celebrities also come with some element of goodies. You can say maybe some money or whatever it is. But the key issue is how do they exploit this celebrity? So for him coming back to the classroom to enhance his academic competence, it means his celebrity status is really going to be a selling celebrity. I remember the second semester, Ochami was out of the country on one of his gigs. So he came late to the, to the course. For the first few days of Chame Kwanu was in the room. And you could feel that something was missing. When he came home, oh boy, he brought life. And that's Ochame Kwanu. He's a very great personality. And the fact of the matter is, he doesn't take himself too seriously. He's just like one of us. He plays, he jokes, we laugh. He's a great all-round guy. Very responsible fellow. Head screwed on on his shoulders, very right. And I'll just say Ochame Kwanu is, is an experience. I see him taking steps that keep, keep him going, finishing school now. I'm sure that can take him another 10 years. And I'm sure a lot more people in music must find the various niches and do the courses and things that will help them to become better into the future. Because marketing is not just about standing in front of the camera, but it's about the content that goes into the camera and all that. And Ochami's position as of now, Ochami Global. Such a pleasure being a student with Ochami Kwame. Before I met him, I had heard so much about him through his music. And I remember I had one of my favorite songs with one of his songs. And I always used to wonder how he's like. But I mean, he's such a warm, welcoming person. I have enjoyed being, knowing him. I mean, when Oshami comes to class, everyone is excited because he brings a different atmosphere to the, to the game. And he makes learning easy and makes it exciting. And to be honest, I am really privileged and honored to have had him as um, part of the class, be part of the MA class. All that I seek to do is to be part of a younger generation that also can understand, that can research, and that will dedicate themselves to the back end, like Professor Nketia and John Collins. And especially because I've also been a practitioner or a player, I believe that when the time is right for me to now start investigating these phenomena, I will be able to do a great job and people will listen to the outcomes and the resolutions that I bring. 
that's why I find it so important for me to keep learning because I believe that it's only through knowledge that I can contribute to knowledge. Thank you.